Dave Maleka. Mm -hmm. uh, I started Genesee Beard Co. in 2015 when I got sick with Crohn's disease and I started growing a beard out. Um, not because I wanted to grow a beard, but more or less I just got lazy. Um, and when they finally diagnosed me with Crohn's and I had a diagnosis, I went and shaved my beard because so I was like, oh, you know, it's a fresh start, it's a new beginning. And I shaved it off and I realized that my face was not that nice looking without a beard. <laughs> um, so I knew there had to be a better way to take care of it and make it look better. So I started looking at products online and they were just $25 a bottle and yeah. just crazy expensive. So I just, I looked around and tried to find ways to do it a little bit cheaper. And I guess I, I realized I had something good. So my big thing is trying to keep everything as local as possible. Mm -hmm. um, as, you know, made in the USA, all handmade, but still very personal. Mm -hmm. um, my big thing is, is I'm not looking for the cheapest ingredients or the biggest profit margin. Um, I'm really trying to keep up with uh, just very good quality products, mm -hmm. where I think a lot of people are trying to just hop on a trend and make a quick dollar. What positions do you fulfill at this company? Oh man, I order inventory, all the marketing, photography, um, I do shipping, all the bookkeeping, the accounting, tax returns, customer service, uh, web design, um, everything. All right, so we're, uh, we're in the basement right now. Uh, this is where pretty much everything's made. <clears throat> uh, I make all the oils, the shampoos down here. Uh, the balms are made upstairs, because um, they do have to be heated up on the stove. Mm -hmm. um, the basement, mostly because a lot of this stuff needs to stay cool. There's a, there's a whole bunch of oils behind me, big bottles of oils, like seven pound jugs. Um, and in order to keep them from going rancid, they need to stay cold and dark. Mm -hmm. So when I start, I've actually got, I'm gonna grab this for I've got this big ball jar here. Um, and I pretty much mix all of my uh, carry oils, those big seven pound bottles. Um, I mix them, or kind of measure them out in uh, measuring cups, drop them onto here, shake this up, and I have a, a big one ounce baster that I use. And I bottle by bottle um, pull up an ounce of oil and drop it into a bottle. And how many bottles do you make? On um, oh man. So for like Christmas and Black Friday, I must have made probably like 500 bottles. What kind of senses do you cover? Um, I've tried to really cover everything. Um, I guess, like my, my mountain ear, that's our, our best seller. I probably have to make around like 20 bottles of this a week. And it's a, a very woozy scent. It's got a little bit of a citrus into it to kind of differentiate. Um, citrus mint is kind of, it's a, a citrus and mint. June, um, which is also the name of my dog. <laughs> the scent did come before the dog. Bootlegger is uh, like a bay rum. Wave is a newer one, you know, like yeah. classic barbershop scent. Dusk, which is more of a muskier scent, um, but it also has like tangerine. And then I also have an unscented, um, which is just our natural uh, with no scent in it. Where do you see it going from here? Like, what's from your next here, project? Yeah. I want to do um, pretty much like full grooming, full body care. I'm currently expanding into a women's line. Mm -hmm. Just simple things like bath bombs and uh, like a women's face, wa or face wash. Mm -hmm.